Okay, so today I'm going to cover the, um, what looks like a very easy task, converting inches to feet and square inches to square feet. Okay, so let's say we have a rectangle here that's 36 inches long and 24 inches high. Right? Now we know from ratio reasoning that one foot is equivalent to 12 inches. So if I want to draw a new rectangle to establish it in feet. Any trouble there? Don't know why I can't draw that. It's a little weird. There we go. Using that same reasoning, 36 inches should be equivalent to 3 feet. If I just divide that by 12, so that should be 3 feet. 24 divided by 12 should be 2 feet. Right? So, 3 times 2 is 6 square feet. Pretty simple, right? Now let's just check our work for the sake of argument. We're going to take our calculator out because the big numbers make me just go, ooh. Um, we're just going to do the other way, 36 times 24. Do the area first. 864, that's in square inches. Cool. So, same logic, right? One foot is equivalent to 12 inches. So, theoretically, if I put 864 over here, that should give me 6. I just found that. But if I divide this by 12, 864 doesn't feel right. Divide by 12 gives me 72. Something's wrong about this. It doesn't make any sense. Here's the big conundrum about feet to inches, or inches to feet, and square inches to square feet. They do not work the same way. This conversion from area to area is not the same conversion as from length to length. It just doesn't work. To get from length to length, 36 to 3, yeah, that's a simple divide by 12 situation. Same thing on the other side. But for the area, here's how it works. I'm just going to erase some stuff. Since you've already done inches times inches to give you square inches, if you want to get from feet to feet to get square feet, each of these has to divide by 12. So there's 12 inches in a foot. So that's 12 times 12, which is a division of 144, not by 12. Because you're doing these square inches to square feet, that's 12 squared as your, as your divisor. So if I take 864 divided by 144, that gives me 6. So when you're solving these types of problems, there's an easy way, in my opinion, and there's a hard way. If you have, let's say, so I don't know, 30 inches, make it a not so clean number, and 20 inches, and you need to get to area in square feet. I would definitely convert these to feet first. It would make your life a lot easier, and there's less rules you to remember. So if you do divide by 12, because there's fewer feet than there are inches, and you divide this by 12, oh, sorry about that, and you divide this by 12, that would be 30 divided by 12, which is two and a half feet. 20 divided by 12, which is one and two thirds feet. Then you can multiply those and get your final area. That would be how I would do it rather than waiting until the very end. But that's just my opinion. Um, if you have any questions, just holler at me.